Domingo González Barrientos. <laughs> it's in the his ass. What's up, man? It's a nice jacket. Not too bad, huh? Not bad. This is a money. If a truck ran you over in that paramedics to save the jacket first. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's not mine. It's Quincy Jones's. Yeah. Well, I thought your job was getting Quincy's food, not wearing his clothes. Bro, I'm moving up in the world, man. Now I take his clothes to the cleaners, too. And sometimes I wear them there. So are you too busy jacking Quincy's clothes to make any progress in your music career? Oh, check it out. I'm this close to my first break. I got a hot tip from Mariah Carey's cousin's best friend's mailman. Yeah, you're right there in the mix, aren't you? Check it out, bro. The mailman said that Bone Thugs and Harmony need a new manager. Tito, I thought we agreed that you would quit trying to start at the top. You're right. I just steal Thugs and Harmony. Look, man, you know, you gotta get serious. Did you listen to that demo tape I gave you last week? Oh, yeah, bro. That group is hot. Cool. Because they were rehearsing downstairs tonight in the club. They're doing a showcase tomorrow, and they're looking for new management, and that could be you. Come on, bro. They would not be interested in me. Wait a minute. You just said you were going after Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, but I haven't got a chance with them. I could actually fail with this. Look, Tito, you've been in L.A. for two months now. Sooner or later, you got to take a chance. We're going down to that club, and that's all there is to it. You're right, man. I got to look sharp. Okay. Quincy's wearing a fly suit today. Mm -hmm. Maybe for lunch, I'll bring him some spaghetti with marinara sauce. <laughs> well, Marion, I believe it's time for me to teach you how to play golf without embarrassing yourself. Oh, so you mean I won't actually have to be seen with you? <laughs> Sorry, Max, I can't go. Tito's future's waiting downstairs at a club tonight. Funny, I didn't hear anybody yell, turkey on wheat, hold the mail. <laughs> hey, Max, I can't go. Maybe we'll play next week. Fine. You're not disappointed, are you? No, I'll just dump a dozen balls in a lake. It'll be just like you were there. <laughs> Marion, I just got the most wonderful news. What, you got another date with the human cannibal from that black circus, Leon Burr? <laughs> no, I got my first real paying motivational speaking job. Tonya, that's great. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be speaking at this place called the Last Chance Ranch. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's like a, a dude ranch for stressed out corporate types. But while they out rounding up the cattle, Tony's gonna be rounding up the cheese. Yeah! <laughs> Tony, I don't know how to tell you this, but I did an appearance there a few years ago, and the last chance is a camp for delinquent girls. <laughs> <laughs> delinquent girls? Hey, bro, how old and how delinquent are these girls? Oh, no, see, I got to find me up a way out of this. I can't launch my career with references from the chick wing at Shawshank. <laughs> Tony, come on, this is probably these girls' last opportunity to go straight, and you could really make a difference. Mm, I guess I could use the practice. So far, I've only been rehearsing speaking in front of a room full of naked people. Wow! <laughs> that is a great idea. You got any video? <laughs> it's a speaker's device. In order to get over your nerves, you imagine that you're in a room full of naked people. Like this. Ooh, your daddy did right by you. <laughs> So glad I met you. So glad I met you. Yeah. That's your big chance. Go talk to him. I don't know, bro. They look kind of busy. <laughs> Tito, look, you can do it, all right? I've seen you talk your way out of a hundred beatdowns. Of course, I've seen you talk your way into them, too, but I know you. You can get this group signed. Okay, bro. Here goes nothing. All right. Man, brothers are hot. They're gonna blow up. They're gonna tear the house down. No, nah, they don't rock like the Bee Gees. <laughs> oh, you don't like them? That settles it. They're going double platinum. <laughs> Besides, I'm just glad for Tito. It's gonna turn his life around. I wish I was dead, man. I'm a loser. I wish I was never born. Dang, if I'm standing on a ledge, I hope they don't send you. <laughs> There's another management team interested in signing the group, bro. Tito, look. 
The fight's not over yet, all right? This is only round one. We're gonna come back to the showcase tomorrow and you're gonna sign that group. You're right, bro. I'm going to the top. I'm gonna run this business, man. Oh, man. It's time to pick up Quincy's cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> Next. I won't be able to make it to poker tomorrow night. Oh, so first no golf, and now you can't make poker. Perhaps I should be using pencil to put you in my day planner. <laughs> What's so funny? No, I can't hang with you, and you're getting all jacked up about it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, let me put it in Max language. You're in a snit. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something, my friend. The poker game does not need you. It was supposed to be at my house. Well, not anymore. Look, I just hang around with you because the only person I could beat more at poker and golf is Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I only hang out with you so you can be near a personality. Well, well, don't do me any favors, Mr. Personality. You know, my life is perfectly fine without you. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're showing Bonanza reruns three times a day now, right? <laughs> but fine. You know what? Let's not hang out together and let's see whose life is better. Cool. I'm ahead of you as soon as I walk out the door. <laughs> now, Miss Harris, Last Chance is a minimum security facility for girls who have made mistakes. And this is where we do our educational programs. <laughs> nice. I dig the chains on the TV. Reminds me of my Aunt Rwanda's house. Here come the girls. Come on. Man, they look serious. All righty. And remember, this is today's guest, not a target. Hi, everybody. I'm Tonya Harris, and I'm a motivational speaker. And I'm the Aztec goddess, Josefina. We just call her Ho for short. <laughs> Well, at least when I ask for my father, my mother doesn't throw me the yellow pages. <laughs> oh, okay, guys, come on now. Y'all calm down, all right? I read all your sheets, so I know all there is to know about you. So then you know I don't belong here. All I did was listen to a portable CD player. Yes, but they don't make them portable so you can run off with them. <laughs> well, I was framed by the system. Mm-hmm. The LoJack system. <laughs> You know, she's probably going to be just as boring as all the others, just lecturing and preaching. And I swear, if she asks us to sing Kumbaya, it's time to rumble. You talking to me? You talking to me? Because you don't know who you messing with. You see, because I'm crazy. <laughs> Yes, crazy lady. <laughs> and now that I've gotten through to you guys, don't think of me as a lecturer. Think of me as a home girl. You see, because there's a great life out there for you. And I'm going to show you how to get everything you want in life. Good. Do you know where I could get a good man? <laughs> if I did, do you think I'd be up in here? <laughs> now, come on, let's get down to some serious business. Who do your braids, girl? Is that real or synthetic? So you ready? Man, I'm more than ready. I even got business cards printed up. Oh, that's cool. Hey. They're not even dry yet, bro. <laughs> Check it out, man. I got a whole plan to introduce to Sway, okay? I got marketing. Mm -hmm. I got a list of the hottest producers. Mm -hmm. And I even got a plan how to hook them up with Quincy's A&R, man. Well, how are you going to do that? Let's just say the next time he orders BLT, the T's going to be a T. <laughs> and if he doesn't get a chip tooth, you're in, huh? <laughs> Look, come on, guys. Lighten up. We usually have a blast at these card games. Oh, no, no. You and Marion have a blast. We just come to get away from our wives. Yeah. <laughs> My wife thinks we play poker four times a week. <laughs> Look, Max, you're, you're right. I know we're not being much fun. Sorry. Guess we just miss Marion as much as you do. <laughs> I do not miss Marion. Why'd you just deal him in? <laughs> Look, forget about Marion. We are wild men, and nobody's leaving this room until we have a blast without him. Boy, you are in a snit. <laughs> Clinic. Hi, Josefina, how you doing? Great, I'm right across the room. <laughs> You tell me that I motivated a jailbreak? Girl, you was all that. Yeah, don't let those walls hold you back. There's a great life waiting for us. Damn. 
I am good. <laughs> a jailbreak. You let Tony Robbins try and top that. <laughs> It's just one more hand. Where are you going? It's the wife. She got me this pager so she can do some high-tech bitching. <laughs> we'll see you around, Max. Now, you two make me sick. This party's a total washout. I mean, uh, watch out now. We're wild men tonight. <laughs> so, Marion came up here to get in the game, huh? Well, too late. We're having too much fun without you. Marion, tonight was so dull, I actually missed my wife. <laughs> so you missed me, huh? Well, you can pretend I was here. Just give me all your money. <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought tonight was your fun-filled showcase at the nightclub downstairs. It is, but why drink $8 orange juice when we can drink Marion's for free, bro? <laughs> nightclub? I remember. Music, drinks, women without the glare of a panther. Can we go? <laughs> sure, man. Look, fellas, we don't need them. Let's go play another hand. Hmm. Poker or nightclub women? Yeah. <laughs> Look, that doesn't prove a thing. They'll have one drink and be begging to come back up here. <laughs> hey, Mary, how you doing? Oh, my goodness, it's like a male salad bar up in here. <laughs> Who are these two young women? And why are they wearing those ugly outfits? <laughs> Excuse me? That's prison gear. You can't get that at the Gap. <laughs> what did you do? Well, I kind of gave my speech and that motivated them to break out of prison. Excuse us for a second, ladies. Excuse me. How the hell did this happen? All I did was tell them to think of me as a friend. Next thing I know, I'm hosting Tonya's Jailbreak Slumber Jam. <laughs> Tonya, you can't be their girlfriend. You have to approach them from a position of authority. Bro, uh, you want to hurry it up, man? Okay. <laughs> Tonya, these girls are your responsibility. If anyone finds out they're missing, they're going to be in more trouble than ever. And you, too. You got to do something. You're right. You're right. Okay, I'm going to shave their heads bald, right? And tell everybody that my cousin's Pookie and Dot. And then I'll sand off their fingerprints, pull a few teeth out their mouth, change their dental record. Tonya! Okay. All right, I'm feeling you. It's my responsibility, and I'm going to handle it. Oh, ladies, 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 ladies. How long were you locked up? What's wrong, Doc? Did Marion ruin your poker party? Look, my friends didn't want to come down here. They're just being polite. <laughs> Looks like they're cool to me, bro. Well, they just hide their pain very well. Well, the club is happening. We're all here. What's the big deal? The big deal is Marion's right. It is more fun down here. Woohoo! Yippee! I guess I do miss hanging out with them. Damn it. Doc. I want you to meet Suede, the baddest singing group in L.A. I guess I gotta face facts. The man wants to skip playing poker with me so he can keep you from spending the rest of your life fetching Q's lunch, so be it. What? You a fool getter? <laughs> it's just my day job, man. But I'm serious about managing you guys, and you should hear the plan I got set up for you. But do you even know Quincy Jones? Hey, the man gave me the shirt off his back. <laughs> I don't know, Tito, man. We're gonna have to think this one over, man. For real. Why do I suddenly feel like a fire hydrant in a room full of dogs? Look, I'm sorry, man. I didn't realize what I was saying. Yo! Woo. Feeling good, looking good. It's gonna be a great night, baby. No, it won't. Thanks to your friend here, I just lost the group. Oh, ooh, watch my threads, girl. Watch my threads. Sorry. What exactly did you leave here, Tonya? Unless it's 6'4 with muscles, I don't see why we had to come back. <laughs> Actually, I didn't forget anything. I came back because I want you guys to turn yourselves into Warden Reese. <laughs> what? Bye. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Hear me out, girls. Hear me out. Listen. Now, it's the right thing to do. Besides, you don't want to live your life on the run. Driving cross country, living on the edge, dangerous men chasing you wherever you go. What's the point I was trying to make? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's a bad <laughs> Look, Tonya, we don't want to get you in trouble, so we'll turn ourselves in. And then we'll escape again. <laughs> right? Let's bust out after the Dionne Warwick concert. <laughs> I bet a psychic friends won't see that coming. <laughs> okay, guys, 